Hello everyone and welcome back to the OP Ottoman series. And when we last left off, we had started the war with uh, Kara Kuyunlu to take this province right here. And we were also going to expand our vassal. And that's about all I remember. And if you would like to catch us live, I am streaming it live at twitch.tv slash crossviking32. Uh, there is a link down in the description below. And if you would like to give any advice, feel free to comment down in the uh, comment section below. So yeah, let's get on into the video. Although this is a very weird war. I will say, since the last video, there's been about a week and a half, or two weeks, something like that, uh, of uh, me not playing this game. So I can't remember what I last left on. Exactly. I just know we're trying to take a uh, bit list to complete the safeguard Anatolia mission. And I guess we could technically start expanding even more into uh, Karakoyanlu. But I don't know exactly if that would be the smart idea because I don't want to get too, oh, too much over extension. Especially if I'm going to have to take all of the land down here. But that does mean I do have to fight by a piss. By a pass. Um, something like that. Uh, in the near future. Because, you know, they're sieging down Karakoyanlu as well. So fun. And I think also... We were saving up for the tech. Now I remember that. It's all slowly coming back to me. Okay, let's go siege them down. I just need to get enough for the peace deal. I'll send the 28 stack down here. Why not? Wouldn't hurt. Especially since no one is sieging us down. Okay, well, they're sieging down Rabba. I think is how you pronounce that. Or Rabba. Rabba. Something like that. Um. Okay, well, I just accidentally killed my vassal's army while trying to fight that army. Come on, can we catch their whole army here? Yes, we caught it. Okay, that should be a stack wipe. And the other one was a stack wipe. This one should be as well. It's not. Well, time to follow them. We are going to follow this army to their deaths. Uh, they're probably going over here. I just have a feeling this is where they're going. And I believe <laughs> in the only stream you watch. Well, hey, Josh. <laughs> Welcome to our uh, OP Ottoman series. We're finally recording it after, like, I think two weeks of not playing EU4. So I'm trying to remember everything that we left off on. Uh, but how are you? And uh, how was your day? Busy day at work. I was yours. My day was good. Uh, definitely better than yesterday because I didn't have to do any of the uh, physical therapy and stuff. So I'm happy about that. I also have a mic arm now. So my microphone's on an arm. And that means that I sound probably a little bit better. But you don't hear my keyboard. 
So that's that's always a plus. I'm debating on taking these three provinces, but there's a mountain and I can't get to them. <laughs> Cause I don't feel like going to war with uh Biopis. Or Biopass. I still don't know how you say this nation. Keyboard sounds are my favorite, kind of like ASMR. I mean, but they're not good for a YouTube video, you see? <laughs> I'd rather, you know, since I'm recording it, I want people to enjoy listening to it. It's just something unsettling about hearing my keyboard, because it was just a subtle sound. It wasn't loud, it wasn't too soft either, it was just like this weird sound every time I would play back a video. So. I wonder if I could kill this whole army over here. I mean, all of their land is basically sieged out. Which I kind of find funny. Also, uh, Josh, if you didn't know this, we're at 30 out of the 50 followers. That we need for affiliate. So where are we right now with the game? Uh, well right now we're trying to uh, complete the right side of the mission tree which is expanding basically east and south. Um, so that means conquering Egypt um, and all of that area. And I believe we go as far as... yeah. Whenever you take Egypt, you go west after that. You start taking West Africa, essentially. Or, like, Western North Africa, I should say. Since we started off kind of slow with the World Conquest, we need to... I'm trying to ramp up our expansion through uh, conquering people. So, this is going to be interesting, because I got to figure out how to expand super quickly without getting a bunch of AOE or not AOE, AE to have a full on uh, coalition warfire uh, you can conquer everything but there's a lot of AE that you get and it make essentially AE is uh well, it's aggressive expansion is what it's called, but if you get it, then if you have enough people that have over a certain number, then they will join in a coalition war against you. So, like, if I were to take provinces from the Mamluks, I would probably make Europe kind of mad. But with these people, no one truly cares, and I could eat them up, but I also have to deal with uh, rebels. And things like that and I don't want to overextend myself because that's a lot of money that I uh I don't feel like losing although we are making 11 ducats a turn which is always good also uh by 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 a pass just uh, ate like pretty much all of uh Chervin. This is not going to be fun. They pretty much have to deal with certain people liking each other more than others. Yeah, basically. It's a game where you have allies and things. And I have one ally and it's Castile. Which makes no sense as the Ottomans that have Spain as your ally. Because A, they're Catholic. And B... They usually want to kill you. And so, you know, fun times over here. This whole this whole game right now has been kind of weird. It's been a little bit different than normal campaigns I've had in the past. Which I'm not upset with. Oh, I don't own that. Okay. 
And I'm also trying to feed my vassal some land. To make it to where whenever I integrate them. It's just a little bit easier to get through a mission. But yeah. Uh, you see this uh, flag down here? Where my mouse is? This is the AE. So right now the only people I'm making mad are the Mamluks. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Because I can handle just them. I am the Ottomans with a massive army after all. And now we got a bunch of missions. So we finally got that mission done. Question is, do I expand into the Mamluk territory first or do I take Trebizond? How many groups would it take to overthrow my tyranny? I mean, considering I only have 2,000 manpower right now, it wouldn't take that many. I would say maybe Austria, Hungary, and France combined could probably kill me. The latter option. Well, I mean, I, I can take Trebizond. Trebizond's right here. This is where Trebizond is. So I can take this and secure up uh, basically the Black Sea over here. And also, I should kill Genoa soon. Or not kill them, but, you know, take a lot of their territory back. Because that would be the smart thing to do. And feed my march a bunch of the land. Speaking of which, I don't actually know how you... I don't truly really know. There used to be a way to integrate your uh, march. Just can't remember how though. I rarely do marches. I prefer to have vassals. Because A, they give you more money I believe. And B, it's just so much easier to conquer. Uh, let's split the army in half so I don't take a ton of attrition. I actually could have done that instead. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the YouTube channel so far. We're growing a tiny bit and we're getting views. Which is always a good thing. People are looking at the YouTube channel. People are looking at the Twitch channel as well. We just need 20 more followers. And we get affiliate. And then we can start having a whole lot more fun. administrative technology to hurry up and so I can get the new uh oh hey I got Janissary infantry now which I do like having although what's funny is I've never actually built them before like this Which, that's gonna be fun to do, okay. Now that I'm done thinking. I didn't mean to click that, whoops. Oh well, I was gonna probably do that anyways. <laughs> okay, let's get some more production. And now we should probably just sit back and recover all of our, uh, our uh, manpower. That's something we desperately need right now. 
because if I get into a big war, that's not going to be fun to refill my armies. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, that's not them. Who do? Oh, I was doing against Naples. Whoops. Okay, grab that province as well. I need to... Do I have any? No, I don't have any claims on them. Uh... I'm assuming you're at Circassia, yeah. Okay, so build the spy network here as well. Huh, why not? I'll stay it. And we we uh, did another mission apparently. Conquer new states. So yay. All provinces in the Balkan region. Well, uh, <laughs> that's gonna be a while until I do that. I, I don't know exactly how that's gonna happen, but yeah. This is some like peaceful music. I actually really like the music. I have rebels, apparently. I uh, apparently have some rebels. I don't even know where they're firing from. I would assume it's because I took a uh, bit list. I would assume that's where all of the unrest is coming from. Although, Urfa. Oh, Urfa's down there. Oh. Well, I could just go kill them real quick. I hate having to sit here and wait to get claims. <laughs> and let's do that. Stop building the spy network. We'll kill the rebels and go to war with Trebizond. <coughs> and we will hopefully take at least maybe all of the provinces. I don't know yet. Uh... Let's provoke these rebels and kill them. And put our army up there. I'd rather you not walk there. I don't get why the AI may or why if you click over here the Pathfinder makes you walk onto a province that doesn't have the ability to hold the army. Just, it, it doesn't make too much sense to me why it does that. Okay, now we got our, uh, we unlocked our second idea. So I could probably go, let's see, we could do, we could do economic ideas. That would mean more trade. I think it might be better to go for offensive ideas though. Because we get extra movement speed as well as plus 10% trade. Yeah, I think that or we could do defensive ideas. Because we gain another merchant and we get uh, uh, trade steering as well. Let's see, was it offensive or quantity? 
offensive ideas. I'm gonna go with offensive ideas. I believe this one gives you, yeah, it gives you extra siege ability. I'll take the offensive ideas. Okay, now we declare war on Trebizond to take the capital. I need to make sure I put my uh, fleet out here. Well, that was an easy naval battle. And we took a ship. I don't know if it was another galley or not, but we took another ship. It... Yeah, it was a galley. We took a galley. Okay. And I will just blow up on the walls and make it quicker on us. I don't want this war to take forever. Especially while I do want to try and maintain a good bit of manpower. So. And Bitless is almost finished. Oh, and uh, uh, I just noticed the timer. Uh, the uh, That's it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you have anything you would like to say that could help me do something better please say so down in the comments below or if you enjoyed it i would also appreciate that as well you hit the like button if you like it or if uh you want to you can subscribe to see more and uh yeah i hope uh to see y'all in the next video goodbye mm -hmm.